Once we have our mesh, we want to visualize the fluid around the mesh. There are a few options on doing this. One thing that is interesting to look at is the verticity around the mesh. In order to visualize the verticity around this mesh, I want to look at a slice of the vorticity about halfway through the mesh in the xy plane. To do this, I need to add a pseudo color plot of vorticity. Make sure that the dumps dot visit is the active source because this contains the fluid information. Then go to add pseudo color. And then because I want the vorticity in the xy plane, I'm going to choose omega z. This is the vorticity z direction. If I just click draw, it's going to completely encompass the screen and because it's the entire 3D um, section. In order to just see the vorticity along the center of my wing, I need to add a slice. So I'm going to unclick apply operators to all plots. Then I'm going to select operators, slicing, and slice. If I open it up, I can double click on slice. And this slice, I want to be orthogonal to the z-axis because I want it to be in the xy plane. And I want it to intercept the z-axis around negative 0.1. That should be roughly the center of my wing. And I do not want to project to 2D because I want my wing to remain in 3D for this particular plot. So if I click Apply and Dismiss, I can then draw this. And you can see the vorticity in this slice through the wing. Now I can go through and I can double click on the pseudo color plot and I can start making some changes to the way my plot looks. First of all, in order to get a smoother transition uh, for the vorticity, click nodal and apply, and then that looks much better. I also like to change the color table from the default. There are a few nice options. One of my favorites is difference, which shows uh, the vorticity in red and blue. You can also go with a gray scale if you want to not have this print in color. But for now, I'm going to go with the red and blue difference. You can change the minimum and maximum uh, so that they're constant. And you can also change the opacity. So if I select ramp, uh, then it's, it's going to be partly transparent and you can see where it intersects the wing, and you can see the other half of the wing through the slice of the vorticity. For now, I'm happy with the way this looks. I can close out of this. In order to make this plot look much better, I'm going to go and hide the visualization of the adaptive mesh. I can do that by clicking on this dump stop visit levels and just clicking hide and now I don't see that anymore. Depending on what you're doing, you may want to be able to see the wing through the slice, or you might want to be able to just see that directly orthogonal view, similar to this one. If you want this, then this is when you want to project to 2D with your slice. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, delete that slice, and I want the slice to go through both my wing and the vorticity plot. So I'm going to click Apply Operators to All Plots. Then I'll go to Operators, Slicing, Slice again. You can double click on it in order to edit it. Again, I want it to go through the z-axis, roughly, roughly through negative 0.01. And this time, I do want to project to 2D. I'm going to click Apply. And here we have our 
2D slice of our mesh, perfectly orthogonal to the z-axis. One thing to point out is that it's important to have the items within visit listed in the appropriate order. In this case, if I put the uh, slice of vorticity at the bottom of the list, then the mesh ends up being hidden by the vorticity. For that reason, you need to make sure that things are in an appropriate order to be able to see them. Otherwise, they may get covered up by the next thing that you added.